196 pounds. Yes, it just tells me that he struggled making 170 heavyweights to ever fight. What do you read into the fact that now he hit? And that 75, 175 pounds is where he needs to live. On the marquee. However, there has been talk. The weight belt. If the money's big enough, do you see him possibly of doing some things? Just add Chad, ask Chad Dawson. When the upset happened now, he needs to focus on estab establishing himself. Punching power at all in his weight class that I'm the big MC. He tested the chin right there. What is it about Carpentier? He's fought the who's who of the light heavyweight division throughout the years. For a knockdown against Alex Vostick, went on to lose in towards that back foot. So he's giving him an alleyway. Body shot, and here's a straight left hand. You see where Carpinski's leaning. He's leaning towards the cut, brought the hands home. There you go, and came around the... So he is right on his normal pace, and he just put another... There, he lands a great uppercut up the middle and split the guard of Carpinski. And that really stands out about him, but he does a lot of things very, very well. And the body partially boxed, working that belt line, and now Tommy... He takes punishment well. I know that's not a good thing to say, but he can take... Right now. You know, landing shots to the body. I've seen a roller underneath the punch. Aiming at that belt line, and there's a good stick. Yeah. With his offense, because that will happen. That's Opened up that time, and Carpet worked free. He wasn't doing that as he tied up with the right hand. Towards his back foot. I'm looking for the up. Carpenzi's landing that straight left. Very good start for Zerto. Fakes with the left. He comes back with another left and then comes there from Julian Chua, who is the new trainer. Remember, he split from the Zapari family. Shots landed so far. We were talking about the work that Ramirez was doing to that. You know, Carpensi, you know, he's, he's very clever, very sl the sneaky right hook. Ramirez, as we bring in our ringside reporter, Christina Poncher. Then fainting with both hands. Uh, I like what I see. Um, I think he could do a little bit better about controlling the distance. Sometimes he gets a little... Man, are trainers ever satisfied? I don't know if they are. I mean, you can be... You know, in this weight class. And he's doing it well right now, but being flat... ...there for Carpensi. And he's just closing that gap. On Carpensi. Point on combination is going out to the box. And Mark, gentlemen, take it away. Mark is at 39-0 and in 25 knockouts and potentially going to be fighting for... The media fans, they're going to compare his performances. He's perfect. He's the perfect I size for this, this weight class. Long. Dragon in this division or had the ring belt. Thank you, Christina. Eat him to work in and out. Stay out of Zerto's reign. Fight as Ramirez has been in control. So, hitting Carpensi at will, you know, whatever. If he don't get caught, if Ramirez doesn't get lucky. Trey, you offered up the idea that everybody will compare against Chad Dawson. That was a split decision win in 10. It's what I like. Every now and then, he'll get, he'll get caught. Bell, he just can't keep it up. He doesn't have the conditioning to keep it up. Yeah. Rem Somebody stop the fight. Rapensi clearly a fake. It's over with 26 knockouts. Oh, Ramirez! Yeah. I like what I, what I saw tonight. And I absolutely love